Welcome to the Fat Man's continuation of my 30 day world campaign challenge. Although, like I said, my days are jumbled together and it may be going past 30 days for all I know. As you can see, I'm sitting here waiting for a train to switch out string of cars so it'll give me just enough time to answer this particular question. What is the 30 second elevator pitch for your world? Well, I'm sure you're all familiar with this concept, but the basics there is if you had a book or a, a, you have a, a novel or a game supplement or something you're trying to sell to say an editor or a publisher and you're, in a, you're stuck in an elevator with this person and you've got less than a minute to tell them what your idea is or you're at a convention or so on and so forth, having a quick and pithy response is always a good thing. In my case, coming up with a short response to anything is a challenge because I'm a, bam, a, a bombastic, opinionated blowhard because that's me, right? On the other hand, I know without a doubt my game system has potential. It has something unique and special when compared to most of the other systems out there. That it can be played solo play, it can be played as a war top game, tabletop war game, can be played to some degree as an RPG, depending on how you want to approach it, is all a viable thing. So my response to a would-be publisher or agent or whatever would be, think of Game of Thrones set in space. Hum humanity, six, seven thousand years in the future, based off of my understanding of what the past of humanity has been like, what they'd be like in the future. So my response to 32nd is Game of Thrones set in space, which is, while responding to the 32nd challenge, it's still, in my falls woefully short of all the potential and uh, opportunities thereof. So, you know, it's a matter of how you wish to look at it, how you want to uh, play it out, and how we get that response so you know there's our 30 day 30 minute 30 second challenge